Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain the symmetry properties of bromine trifluoride molecule BRF3. So before starting this investigation that presents of all the symmetry element in this molecule, let have a look on the structure of this bromine trifluoride molecule. This bromine trifluoride molecule having three bond pair of electron and two lone pair of electron. Because of presence of this bond pair and lone pair of electron, the hybridization of this molecule becomes sp3d. And because of this sp3d hybridization, the structure of this molecule is what? Trigonal bipyramidal. So let's draw the structure of this molecule, trigonal bipyramidal. And arrange the fluorine atom in this molecule. Right. So this is the what position of this fluorine atom in this molecule and this is the position of the lone pair of this electron in this molecule. So because of the presence of this lone pair of electron, the shape of this molecule becomes T-shape, right? And this T-shape is a planar shape. It will get the plane of the plane in which we are putting this T shape. So now we are taking this T as a planar in the plane of the paper. And with respect to the, this T shape, we will decide the presence of all symmetry element in this molecule. So let us start our journey from the investigation of presence of proper axis of rotation, right? We will search in this molecule how many proper axis of rotations are present in this molecule meaning is that we will do the word c and operation in this molecule as we know that this molecule is a planar so let's draw the t shape of this molecule is like that for our better understanding this is the word t shape bromine trifluoride molecule and mark this one f1 f2 and f3 and this F1 is equal to F2 and F2 is equal to F3 and this is the F. Now in this molecule many axes are there. Three axes are visible in this molecule. One axis is this one. This is the axis number one. Next one axis is the what? The axis which is passing through the bromine atom and perpendicular this molecular plane this is the plane of the molecule right and third one is the axis which is lying in the molecular plane and passing through the bromine and one fluorine atom so this is the word second axis this is the third one axis when we try to see the new configuration which we get after performing the c2 operation of this molecule about this axis number one that is rotation by 180 degree then we will get a new configuration of this molecule which is not equivalent to the original one this is the new configuration which we will get right so this axis number one is not the proper axis of rotation of this molecule same thing will happen with this axis two num two axis number two when we do this c2 operation about this two axis then again we will get the same structure then we can say that this c2 axis will not be the proper axis of rotation of this molecule but when we do the c2 operation that is rotation by 180 degree about this three number axis which is lying in the molecular plane then what we see that the position of f1 the fluorine number one will not change right but there is a change in the position of F3 and F2. Again, this new configuration B and this is the original configuration A. And A and B are equivalent to each other. So in this molecule, only one C2 axis is present, which is passing through the bromine and one fluorine atom and this axis is lying in molecular plane. It is done. 
Now we will search the presence of plane of symmetry in this molecule. Now plane of symmetry we will search. Do this molecule is having plane of symmetry or not. So what we know that this boron trifluoride molecule is a planar molecule. Right. So the molecular plane is there. So now we don't know that this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry or not so what we will do we will try to see the reflection of this molecule through this molecular plane right and when we reflect the molecule through this molecular plane then we are getting a new configuration right and this new configuration is again equivalent to the original one so we can say that this molecular plane is a what plane of symmetry now this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry but this molecular plane is a vertical plane or horizontal plane so as we know that this molecule have only one proper axis of rotation which is the word c2 and this c2 is becomes a word principal axis and this molecular plane is containing the principal axis that's why this molecular plane is a word plane of symmetry and its type of vertical plane now in this molecule one more plane of symmetry is there right so let's draw this structure this t shape of this molecule this br and this is the fluorine this is the fluorine and this is the fluorine f1 f2 and f3 that plane is again perpendicular to the molecular plane and this plane is containing the principal axis also right so this is the plane sigma and it is having the principal axis also so and it is perpendicular to this molecular plane so when we perform the reflection through this plane of this molecule then we will get this is the f1 this is the f3 but no change in the position of f2 so again this configuration a and b are equivalent to this each other so this molecule have sigma v dash also now this molecule inversion center is not there and proper axis of sorry improper axis of rotation is not there because this molecule do not have it has a cn operation but it do not have any sigma h that's why there is no possibility of presence of any SN axis axis of rotation. So total number of symmetry element present in this molecule is 1 C2, 1 sigma V, 1 sigma V dash.